Hello everyone and happy Friday. Happy two days before Christmas. Hope that you're all enjoying time with your families, staying away from the chaos of last minute shopping, and have stopped by to see the top 20 out of 25 editions of 2022. It has been the best year in the hobby for me personally. It's beyond what I probably could have imagined at the beginning of the year, although the year started off very, very good. So I think it kind of just kept going from there. There were some slow spots, but either on either end of the slow spots were pretty significant additions and lots of different people that I've met. But uh, we're going to get to the cards. And again, if you want to see the top five, I hope that you'll tune in tonight. Watch the Essential Credentials podcast. It's episode 70. Pretty significant number. <clears throat> we are going to be live at 7.30 Pacific p.m. Alan, Greg, and myself should be there. Now, Alan might be a bit of a last-minute type deal, but it wouldn't be an Essential Credentials podcast without that happening. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, can't wait to hang out with the guys again. So let's start with number 25. This is one of the one of the two Blackhawks cards I have, and the reason that I chose this one is it brought back a familiar design from the basketball insert days. But this is the Platinum 50 out of 50. Uh, by the way, I don't care about serial number stuff. I know some people really care about that stuff. I just want to have a copy of the card. But this talks about when he won his 500th game. He's only the third goalie to do so. Mark andre was well represented and extended this year. I'm really happy about that. Number 24, this peerless patch from 2010-11 National Treasures. I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for DIS, DIX Thomas. Got to get it right on Instagram. He's an anti-Ranta collector, and he got this from his friend, so then he could get it to me, and I was able to help him get a card in his collection. So it just worked out great and connections are everything in the hobby, so that worked out great for that one. <clears throat> Love those patches from Panini. Another patch from the Stadium Series. I got this from Kendall. This is awesome. Love having that star on there. It's not really a, I don't know, a shape or a design you would expect for a Penguins jersey, but their Winter Classic jerseys were awesome this year. Sadly, he did not play, but they got the jersey from him and got a nice swatch from it. All right, number 22, there's going to be a lot of, yeah, a lot of Panini represented here. This is a, this is basically their version of signature patches to, you know, rival the cup when they were gone. But uh, I really like this design. I love the photo editing that Panini does. And uh, when this one came up, it was a goalie collector who was selling off a collection. And that was his only Marc-Andre Fleury, and I was able to get it from him for a very fair price. So, you know, think about this design, which was number 22. And then here is number 21. This is a signature patch from the cup. This is one of the nicer patches I've seen on this card. And blue ink, blue design, love it. All right, so number 20 is also from the cup. It is an honorable numbers, Mark Andre's first honorable numbers that he got in the brick mask from his first finals appearance. So great patches on there, a lot of color. Number 20 this year. Number 19, the next year he was in the cup, he had this set up. You can see the Stanley Cup logo there. This is the choreography from SP Authentic, the only year he's ever made it into this set. So, pretty exciting stuff. Just love the rainbow foil. Nice big autograph. And my favorite setup. 18. And their signature patches. He's wearing my favorite mask. I really like this set design. Had to get myself a copy of this. And I was able to. And it's got a nice bold autograph. Some of them tend to be faded from this set. I think a lot of people collected it. Were not very careful with the autographs. Next up is a, an exquisite patch autograph. I got this within the last few months, actually. I want to say two, three months. But it came up at the right time, and I really like 
the overall design of this card. All the exquisite cards just really stand out to me. All right, got to keep track here. <laughs> All right, um, 17. These three have a lot of similarities to them, so it's really hard to kind of put them in the right order. But next up, a Cup Foundations Quad Patch Auto out of five. All the patches are different. Beautiful rainbow foil, great design. All right, got to make sure I get my count right here. It's late at night. I'm filming this at midnight, I believe. So, um, all right, 15, not going to mess up again. Number 15, same thing, Cup Foundations, Quad Patch Auto. And he's in that baby blue jersey. Yeah, can't go wrong with these. 14 is a quad patch auto, but this one is from UD Black. One of the toughest cards you can get from UD Black this year. And this was in a big collection that I bought along with some of these other cards. And I couldn't believe it that he had that one. All right, 13. One of my favorite Panini cards that I bought this year. I think this is the, yes, second to last Panini card. Number 13. I love this picture of him in this jersey. He wore this combination once or twice, maybe. But it's got a nice two-color patch on there. First one stamped. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. 13. Got to get this right. Got, got it all laid out um, to the right of me here. Beautiful limited auto patch of flower. Part of the Reebok logo. And uh, y'all should have seen how that thing was shipped. <laughs> it was it was tough. That's all I'm going to say. But it made it safe. All right. 11. And we'll get into the part of the top 10. Band of Color. The Thanos card. One of these sold for much, much cheaper than I paid for this. But you know what? I was after this card for a long, long time. Uh, and what seems like a long, long time, probably a month and a half after release. And I think three or four have sold since then, but the scan of this card is just awesome. So, all right, you're going to see half of these. This is number 10. Nothing says Mark andre Fleury than a little bit of prankster or silliness, and he had some fun after he signed his name. Uh, when he drew some sunglasses or glasses and a stash on Jordan Stahl. So, yeah, that is a super unique card. Big thanks to Yiga Sports Cards for helping me get that one. Next up is probably the nicest patch on a card that I'll own of Flurry in the Penguins uniform, and that's the Penguin Eye on the limited logos. Yeah, this was a nice upgrade, and I was able to use the other version I had to trade. Was some really sweet cards, so big thank you to Chris for um, doing that and also, you know, able to get your first limited logo of that uh, from that year. This is also a limited logo. This is number eight. This was, you know, for the time at where his stuff was going for, uh, this was relatively cheap. One of the bigger steals. I think I called this my biggest steal of the year. Uh, again, his prices were at an all-time high when I got this, and I bid double what I paid for it. So, not going to complain about that. Number seven, one of the coolest community connections that I've made. Uh, also made a new friend in the hobby, and that is Justin Malden, who is putting together the I believe, master set of 2021 Metal Universe. He's made some amazing progress, but he saw this on a dealer's table, and uh, this was months ago, and the e I had to get his email, the dealer's email, and I uh, was able to get it to work. There it is. Look at that tag. This is, yeah, pretty darn unique, so... Almost made the top five. And then the last one that you will see is from Drew Let's Collect Hockey. The Fanimation. Goodness gracious, I love these cards. 
So that is 20 out of 25. If you would like to see the last five, the top five, I will be revealing those. I'm sure you're super excited for that. I know that we are on the Essential Credentials tonight at 7.30 Pacific. I will be there. Greg will be there. Alan will be there either when we start or shortly after. And we will be sharing our top five editions of the year, why they mean so much to us, and what our goals are going into 2023. Hope that you've set some goals for yourself too, but more importantly, I hope that you enjoy some family time during the holidays. That's the most important thing. I'm going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, before that, hope to see you all tonight. Have a great day. See ya.